All right, everybody, welcome back. I'm upset that I missed Freak Swat's Dark Souls stream, but I've actually been kind of busy. Uh, I'm currently on vacation uh, today, technically today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. Not really much of a vacation, though, when you stay at home. And the kid had a snow day today, so... <laughs> yeah, I know how that is, but anyway. Um, the good news is, for you guys, and I guess me, is I have a lot of time to uh, stream, basically. I'm going to stream the next three days, so... Quick rundown. Uh, I'm not going to bother going over my offline stuff. If you guys want to see that, just sub to the channel. I think my Kingsfield review might be out tomorrow or Wednesday or something. Uh, Ancient City, Kingsfield 4. But beyond that, I have a lot of stuff still in the pipeline, so just stay tuned there, I guess. Uh, as far as the stream goes, uh, I really do want to beat Terranigma tonight, but I realize that there's probably a good chance that I won't. I'll get really close to the end, but I, I honestly don't think I'll be able to. So if that's the case, the following thing is going to happen. So, if anybody's watching now or watching the VOD, or I'll probably post about it anyway on social media in the community tab. What I'll do tomorrow is since I'm off of work, I plan on streaming early. I'm going to be streaming during like pre-work hours slash work hours. So I don't know, you know, what everybody's schedule is. <laughs> probably a lot of people won't be able to make it, obviously. But um, if we have a little bit of Terra Enigma left, I'm going to schedule part nine and we'll play it till we beat it. We could beat it tonight, but if we don't, tomorrow's Terra Enigma stream could be 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour. Probably no more than that, assuming we make decent progress tonight. Then what I'll do is, behind the scenes, after the stream tonight, early tomorrow morning, I'll figure out another game that I'm going to play. And I'll set up a separate stream, because obviously the way that YouTube works is, if I were to play two games back to back that end up in the same VOD, there's nothing I could do about that. So, so like I said, if we don't finish Terra Enigma, there will be a short stream, which I will have to officially end when I beat it. And then I'll probably go live, like, literally a minute later for the next game, which has yet to be decided, by the way. Probably going to keep it on the SNES, though, just to make sure that things are already set up, because I really won't have much time to, like, fuck around with stuff. Um, yeah, so that'll be the game plan. <laughs> going to have a long period of stream tomorrow, I'd say. Probably be prepared for anywhere between four and five hours. Um, I really don't have anything else to do during the day, so... There's that. Uh, and then oh! Wednesday, I will also stream. It'll be on the normal nighttime slot around this time, probably a little later than this. And we'll continue whatever game it was that I was playing. Then I have a few days off, and then I'll be streaming probably for about four hours on Saturday during the day. So that's the schedule this week. It's pretty much locked in stone. I know I said I wasn't going to lock myself into a schedule, but I have a lot of certain pockets off of work. Wife's out of the house, this, that, and the other. So we're going to take advantage of it. What's up, Ryan? Hopefully work wasn't too bad today. But yeah, Freak. Um, dancer is definitely a tough fight if you're still there. Um, not an easy one. You could fight the Dancer pretty early. I think it could be your second or third boss of the game if I remember correctly. Not a big Dark Souls 3 guy. I like it. I think it's a really good game. I've beaten it a couple times. Soul of One, achievements, all that kind of shit. But I actually haven't played Dark Souls 3 in about four or five years, so... Don't really remember. But, um, yeah, so that's the scoop, guys. We're going to beat, well, try to beat Terranigma tonight. If we don't, quick stream tomorrow, and then we'll roll right into the next game. And that'll be the game that we stream on Wednesday and Saturday as well. Ooh, nice. Say, hey, sometimes you got to flex those muscles, man. Sometimes you do. All right, let's get rolling into the game. Pointing for the timestamp. And burping, because I'm a slob. All right, so we last left off uh, basically spearheading our way into the finale. I think that was on Friday night. Um, I haven't played at all since then, so I'm still the same level, still got the same equipment and gear and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I believe we're headed to Dr. Baruga's lab, but I have a couple things that I ended up writing down after the stream that I wanted to look into. Acolyte Stone. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny. It's like I'm trying to enjoy being on vacation, but then the thought of still having to work on Thursday is kind of depressing, to be honest with you. Hey, I'm not ruling out Mystic Quest. I'm serious about that, by the way. I'm in a heavy debate 
whether or not I want to play a game that I've never played before at all, or if I want to revisit a game like Mystic Quest or Soul Blazer, like I had talked about, and then I add a bunch of like hacks and patches onto it. So I got to think that through. It'll be a pretty quick decision. I'll have to make it tomorrow morning, basically, before I get started, because I'm probably going to end up streaming around like 8.30 a.m., 9 a.m. at the latest. Uh, anyways, all right, let's get back to the notes here. So I wanted to go to that one island in the middle. Now we screwed up, or well, we didn't screw up. It was a secret, so I can't be too upset about that, really. Um, but the one island that's there, apparently you could like, <laughs> I don't know what it does, okay? But I've seen it, so I'm just gonna go try it. And I think I've seen speedrunners do it when I did my uh, my quick little checking to see Oh, how much time do I have left? <laughs> um, apparently you could nap or something on that island and you get like sunburned and it brings your macho status up. I have no idea what that means. I'm assuming macho means you get like 10 strength maybe? But I guess we'll see. Yeah, I mean, you know how it is, Ryan. You know how it is. That's the way my mind operates, man. It's like... I never have off a full week. Uh, that's why sometimes I do prefer, obviously, to take off, like, the tail end, like, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But, uh, I positioned it this week because... Or the way that I did this time, so I didn't have to go to the office on Wednesday. Which, by the way, I mentioned to Ryan, I'm having freaking... The car problems I alluded to the other night are persisting, so I have to drop it off tomorrow to get looked at, but... I don't think it'll be that big of a deal after Googling and talking to Ryan and the mechanics. I think I'll be alright. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to Polynesia here. Brand, you came here expecting a fan fancy resort, didn't you? The ultimate luxury is relaxing, uh, where you could... Jesus, I can't read tonight. Where nothing could disturb you. So yeah, apparently you could rest in one of these beds. It's nice in the tropical sun. Want to catch a nap? Sure. Maybe I'll do that. That looks nice. Pleasant dreams, don't sleep too long. So I guess you get sunburn here. <laughs> now something happens. Yeah, it's a big brain move, right? Yeah, there we go. See, I got sunburn or something. Arc was crisply toasted. Macho appeal up 10. Now, I just made the mistake of not checking my stats. Because I still have no idea what macho does or means. I'm going to assume it buffed my strength somehow. I don't know. Anyway. There is that. Hey, what's up, Andrew? By the way, guys, as always, I'll mention probably two or three times, like the stream if you're enjoying. Please. Appreciate it, but if you don't like it, then that's fine too. Alright, so the next thing I wanted to do on my list was, uh, if you guys remember during my last stream, I realized that I had, like, a fancy outfit. I had not realized that the entire time, so I want to go either wear that or show it to the girls, which I believe were in freedom. Which then, I think I want to see if it advances freedom, because there was something I wanted to do in freedom revolving around like letting a bird out of a cage or something, but it wasn't available last time. I don't know. This is not freedom. <laughs> but, um... If it ends up not advancing, I'm really not concerned about it. I just figured I'd give it a try. But at the very least, we'll show the girls the suit and see if they like it. See what that does. You dislike the stream because I had off of work. That's, that's pretty harsh. Pretty harsh. <clears throat> Free Chick-fil-A nuggets? Is that like a promo or something? Alright, the Goyles. Where were they? Here they are. Hey, I walked right into their house. I'm actually proud of myself there. Before 10 a.m.? Oh, oh yeah, I see, because I'm going to stream or whatever. Yeah, I'd have to get them early. I'm definitely not going to leave the house tomorrow. <laughs> Other than karate. For the kid, I'm not going to leave the house tomorrow, that's for sure. Alright, um... Armor door. Oh, it's not a fancy, it's a nice suit. Do they even care about that? 
Probably not. But we'll see. That's so ra- oh, here we go. Oh, no. Same old shit, huh? Guess I don't have the right suit on. It's fine. So I am gonna assume that you probably literally need something called fancy suit at that point, but... No big deal, I'm gonna forego that off of the list. Really don't care. But I'm gonna check around to see if Freedom advanced at all to see if I could release that bird. Uh, then otherwise we're gonna continue the story back at Nur Lake, which I believe uh, Will created the flying thing, so we should be I eat there. Seamail. I think Seamail is my best, right? Yeah. I was when you have to claim. Oh, three days to use the Nugget Coupon. Well, that might change something. It also might not. You really do underestimate my laziness. <laughs> also, actually, no. I can't even. I can't even get them. I just realized. I'm not gonna have a car during the day, so... Cause my car is gonna... The mechanic's pretty busy, so... They might not be able to work on it until early next week. So, big, big time rip. I could also get it delivered, but I mean, that's, you know, kind of a waste of money. Alright, um... Black Magic? Or Market? Not Magic. Black Market. Was there, like, an extra... Addition uh, over here, maybe? Uh, I don't think freedom expanded as far as I had hoped. Might be SOL. Let's see. Eh. Family Nuggy Night. Is that for real? Anytime the Sixers opponents miss two free throws, there's free Chick-fil-A? That's funny. I did not know that. Alright, well, I think we're done with the whole world-building aspect. Uh, I've enjoyed it. It's been good, Terra Enigma. I appreciate it. Very ambitious. But, since uh, this is not a 100% run and I would enjoy beating the game tonight, possibly if I play till midnight, which I'm down to do since I don't have work tomorrow. Um, yeah, well, let's just get a move on. So let's go to Nur Lake and talk to Will and advance the story. I think if you pretty much advance the story at this point, I want to say you're on a beeline to the end game unless you specifically go out of your way. Could be wrong. Uh, now to remember where Will's place was. Fuck. Brickin for chicken. I remember um, the Flyers, not a Flyers fan by the way, obviously, uh, had a thing, I don't know if they still have it, but I don't remember if it was a power play goal or something, but you'd get a free box of Tasty Cakes, or somebody would or something, I don't remember. Something or other, I believe if they scored a goal, somebody got Tasty Cakes. <laughs> <clears throat> I've had uh, the Terra Enigma soundtrack like stuck in my head nonstop. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I know you can go underneath that. Everybody needs a free box of tasty cakes, you know? Alright, here we go. This is Will's house, right? There he is. <laughs> Listen, Ark. It's finished, my airplane. Metal became available again. I should never give up my dreams. Ark, you should try flying. On the runway, press A button. In flight, press L to descend, R to ascend, Y to accelerate. To land at any airfield, fly low and press the A button. Will made his first plane. It, get, uh, it really flies great. He said he'll take peril and everyone at Kidsgart up. Nice. Nice. Can I grab that book? What's this? Looks like a diary. Let's see. XX Prototype 9 fails. Crashes in the village. Too much damage. Why, why? Something is missing. What's wrong? ZZ. Prototype 10 completed. This is time. The test flight will be by the lake. I pray for success. Okay. <clears throat> Ark, you try flying? Alright, yeah. So I guess the 
plane? Is this gonna be outside or something? Do not know. Kind of uh, vague, right? I don't think there's a runway in the town. So I'm gonna go outside, I suppose. Uh, yep, so I just wanted to make sure that I was doing all my crapola that I had on my list, and indeed, this was it, so I could erase all of my to-do notes. Like I said, I had a couple things that I was thinking about doing, uh, but ultimately I decided to forego it because I'm stuck and I really don't feel like reading a guide on how to expand this, that, and the other. It's kind of boring. Okay, so, um... Where's the runway? Was it in town? Hmm. I feel like it would be in town, right? But, I guess not. Maybe it's not by Nur Lake. Maybe it's elsewhere. As if I'm worried about- Oh my goodness, there's a runway. I <laughs> wasn't expecting that. Do I just... Take off? Oh. Ooh, we got some pilot wings action right now. Alright, so L is descend, R is ascend, and Y is accelerate. Great Lakes. Whee! Greenland. All right. So I think we're supposed to go to Dr. Baruga's lab. So I'm trying to think like where that would be. I don't remember if anybody told me specifically in the game. I feel like it would have to be on some kind of island or something, right? Because you could... Oh, maybe it's in Antarctica or South Pole. I mean, sorry. But wouldn't I need to land on a runway? I don't know. So I can't land there. Can't land there. Okay. I guess we'll enjoy our flight, right? Okay, so that is the runway I came off from. Is the lab up here, maybe? I don't know. Ooh, so fast. Don't quite know, to be honest with you. Might have to take a little peek, sees here. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just remembered. I, as soon as I took my peek, I remembered I last played on Friday, so it was out of my brain. But I need to go to Mosque? Or some shit? And I think that's where he is. So Mosque was... I feel like I saw it. Oh, okay. Yep. Alright. I was uh, hyper-focused on, like, an island, but that wouldn't really matter, right? Because you could uh, sail to an island. There we go. So much for that, huh? What's everybody's, uh, I know it's hashtag dead chat tonight. What's everybody's favorite flying in an RPG of this era? Do you like flying in Terranigma? Do you like flying in Secret of Mana? Secret of Evermore? They're all very similar, but... Mosk. For more about Baruga, go to the Disciples' Quarters. You will come to understand Baruga's greatness. Okay. Oof, jeez. He is our savior, Baruga. Baruga is preparing to save this corrupted world. Look at this fucking guy. Oh, it's like a whole village here. I thought it was just a shrine. Great Baruga will rise once again. He will create an eternal paradise in this world. Those in white are white disciples who directly serve Baruga. 
It is a great honor to be chosen a white disciple serving Baruga. I'm going to be a white disciple when I grow up to help Dr. Baruga. Not necessarily the music, no, just the flying in general. <clears throat> I think the one that was like, out of those three games, that was like very interactive would be probably Secret of Mana's. <clears throat> They're all a little rough around the edges, but... The Great Baruga will rise once again. He will create an eternal paradise in this world, yes. Sure. Do you seek Baruga's wor word? Yes. Then enter the back room. A disciple will educate you. Get learned. Please line up and hear the great words of Baruga. Okay. <clears throat> you got it. Baruga once run one. I cannot read tonight. A Nobel Peace Prize for new biotechnology theories. He perfected DNA engineering to fully cure. <coughs> Dropping my controller. <laughs> Recurring diseases. Since then, he has dedicated himself to the study of immortality. All humans shun silence and fear the dark. Why? Because they all fear death. A playwright once claimed this. People are born crying. To die and for a new life to be born come with unimaginable pain. When all are immortal, change will cease and peace will come. Baruga will create that utopian world. Baruga is now locked in deep sleep in an ultra-cold machine. Okay. He shall soon awaken in this world. Let us pray for that day. Alrighty. Oh, Lufia too? You know, I didn't even think about that one, to be honest with you. Didn't even think about it. Have a seat? Yeah, okay, sure. Well, you taught me. No, I'm good. I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah, really. I don't like the vibes here. Shit's creepy. I didn't check over here yet. People will be freed of all pain. Even death will be powerless. Yikes. Baruga is waiting quietly in the castle he built himself. When the time comes, he shall rise again to save the believers. I do not fear death. I have total faith in Baruga's words. Baruga declared that an age when we no longer fear death shall come. I mean, you know, not gonna lie. Not fearing death would always be a good thing, right? Might help some people alleviate uh, their anxieties, but... I know. Kind of fucked up of me, actually, too. <laughs> Forget about- I honestly forgot about it completely. I think I spent so much time on the ship that I forgot about the flying stuff. <clears throat> Spend a lot of time grinding those seas, you know? Red armor will fill you with strength. Hoo hoo hoo! Sure. Is this cursed? Dully coated with washes of blood. There's no way, right? There's no way that that armor is good for me. I don't believe it. I'm gonna pass on that shit. I'm not getting blue ridged. <laughs> you are, I guess, right, Jimmy? Because I'm good. <clears throat> Actually, since I've upgraded my computer, everything's been perfectly fine. I guess I have to pay you. Alright, sure. Do I need that red armor? I feel like it's gonna be cursed. I'm clicking it. Uh, yes, it is cursed. Okay, I was correct. How about it? Alright. Mosque. Alright, I guess we probably just head to... 
Right there, it looks like. Uh, are we really gonna do this shit the whole time? Hopefully it's not too difficult. Maybe we get a light source at some point, that would be good. Got a bunch of robots! I'm coming. I'm just gonna come as hard as I can. Yeah, this is a fresh track, right? I guess we're gonna play a, a wonderful game of hug the wall and just see where we could fit in. <clears throat> I swear, doesn't it look like you could like sneak in there? Oh, thank you. Light switches. Alright. I'm no longer soured on this dungeon, okay? We're okay now. I- I hate when you like... Don't get me wrong, I like gimmick dungeons once in a while. But when your sight is like horribly obscured, it's one of my least favorite ones. Not a fan of that. So now I can just be lost normally. Where I don't need to see everything. There we go, crawling. Not much of a sneaker now. No. What the hell is this thing? Oh! Uh, hopefully I didn't need to carry that, <laughs> like, all the way somewhere. I'm going to assume uh, every screen transition probably have to flip a switch, which is fine, as long as it's not too difficult to find. Ooh. Totally in the dark? Is there like any way to, like any kind of spell or item or something? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of that type of stuff. I mean, you know, I've referenced a million times how much I love Dark Souls. Um, Tomb of the Giants is heavily obscured in darkness unless you have uh, cast lights or a sunlight maggot. And despite how many times I've played through the game, it's actually still hard for me to uh, navigate through there without that stuff. Did I...? No, I didn't. Soul armor? Deflects death curses. I mean, that sounds like a good thing. That sounds like a really good thing. Get the lights on when he finished, man. No, thank you. I'm trying to think if there's anything else here, or if I have to go back to uh, the first screen. Because I felt like that there could have been something on the first screen that I didn't go to. I felt like there was a path and I ended up taking, you know, the one side, but I don't know. I'll look around a little bit more before I go do that, I guess. But I feel like that might be the case. Flip that. 
Uh, yeah, I guess so. Okay. Unless there's one more switch that I'm missing that unleashes the robots. Possibly. By the way, I've been playing this game so weirdly. I've been playing like this. Like some sort of, like, hybrid claw grip. Let's skadoodle. That was the light switch. Okay, so the lights are now on here as well. Uh, left the lab. Okay, thank God. <laughs> Was a little worried about that, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, we got like a little TMNT2 thing here now. Um, it's actually not too bad. I pretty much have my pointer finger on the dash button, middle finger on the jump, and then uh, ring finger on the attack. I'm almost treating it like a, um, like an arcade uh, stick. It just seems to be the most, um, I don't know, beneficial for me. Does this not seem like some sort of, like, boss room? Okay... Looks like we have to go around another way, possibly. So... Maybe I'm going down the elevator again? Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, it goes back up, damn. Hmm... Interesting. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I exhausted the last area up top, so... When this is over, I'm gonna go back down. I obviously missed something in the last room. I'm like 99% sure that I... touched all my current bases up top that I could. There might be something I unlocked down here, of course, but... <laughs> Ring doorbells with their thumbs? Yeah, that's, uh... That's interesting. But yeah, I think I'm definitely ready to go to, like, midnight tonight. The only regret that I had on the day isn't much of a regret, just kind of the way... ...that everything panned out is, um... Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Oh, it makes sense. It's the only one that looks different. Uh, I was trying to get a nap in earlier today, but ran out of time. Not too much crap going on. Ooh, flamethrower guys? Oh, bazookas? I don't know what the hell that was. Oh, it's like a teleporter, huh? Weird. Uh huh. Shortcut city. Hmm, lots of teleporters. Shit, man. Trying to do some weird, uh, portal stuff there. You're kind of sleepy yourself. I'm like, I'm not too bad, but ideally I would have got a nap in earlier today. My wife took off too, today only. Um, hey, leveled up. But like I said, our daughter had off, uh, for a snow day, even though it didn't really snow. So, the morning kind of got jostled around a little bit. We didn't get started as early as we wanted to, so the nap fell to the wayside. It's all right, though. Definitely a lot better than working, you know what I'm saying? So I have more energy than usual tonight, which is good. Ooh, we 
get a long climb there. Oh, wait a minute. I went backwards, didn't I? Shit, I did. I certainly did. Alright, so I flipped a switch, which is good, right? We might have to jump into one of the teleporters here, which is gonna be kind of an annoying game of guess and check. Although, there might not be as many to jump in as I think. Maybe this one? Can I jump in here? Nope. Nope. Uh, same room. Vibes. Huh. Okay. So these are all connected. Just fine. Um makes me fall out. Any kind of credence to the order in which you jump in? Probably not. But it was worthwhile to check. Alright, so we did flip a switch, so we got that going for us. Now I'm wondering if that switch had some kind of effect up top. Right, it might have. Hmm. There's the long thing that teleported me there. I'm gonna go back up top and see if maybe... Flipping that switch maybe unleashed those robots in that one section. That seemed to be, like, the only thing that was, like, not checked off the list, I guess. <clears throat> oh, maybe I can go down further. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. Let me check here first. Yeah, that never crossed my mind for some reason. Like, maybe it, uh... Unleashed an extra floor or some shit. All right, these guys are still on the assembly line. Okay, I guess I'll head back to the next floor or the last floor. I mean, we'll see if we can go down, and if we can't go down, then we'll just explore a little bit more. Sure, I missed something. It's funny, um, obviously the games weren't made by the same company, but the, uh, the end of Secret of Evermore is also a lab. It's like you're in space and there's a lab and shit. It's always funny how many games of this era end in, like, well, I'm not saying it's ending here. Obviously there's more to the game, but a lot of games end in lab-like areas. Hey, what's up, Rival? Um, oh yeah, I wanted to see if I can go down one more after flipping the switch. That was the thing. <clears throat> we can! Yay! Should probably heal. We'll do a little bit of S-Bulb action, because why not? Mashy, mashy. And one more should basically do it. Alright, we good. Head down. The usual tired. Yeah, <laughs> seems like most people here are tired tonight. I took off of work today, so I'm actually doing okay for a change. <clears throat> Alright. Whoa! Jesus. What are the hitboxes on those things? I thought for sure I was about to get smooshed. Ooh, looks like I could possibly jump on the conveyor belt. You probably have to, huh? 
No? Okay. Oh, yep, okay. There's a teleporter, there's a teleporter. Anything I could do down here? I don't think so. Always checking. All right, left or right? I'm gonna go to the right. The old giant cube. Oh! Freaked me out there for a second. Thought I was about to get smushed by the cubes again. <laughs> Murder is a good thing. Ooh, we are in a teleportation loop over here. Can't wait till I loop myself back to the beginning. Holy crap! This is also kind of reminding me of, um, Star Tropics. A little bit. Not a lot. But the end of Star Tropics is, like, weird labby stuff too, isn't it? If I remember correctly. It's been a few years since I played that, so bear with me. Log into database. Please enter the password. What is this? Login? Password? What's that about? This machine controls all systems in Baruga's lab. It's protected by a password to shield the data. So I can't do anything. If I don't know the password. Heh. <laughs> Just key in what I tell you. Blood Bloody Mary? Wow, that's the password? That's interesting, huh? Root password accepted. Elevators and cold sleep device password lock disengaged. Whoa, I opened it on the first shot. But why does Yomi know something like that? Connect into database. Access which data? Ask history? Ah, oh, we get a little lore dump here, I guess, huh? The date that Dr. Baruga announced his new biological theory, DNA engineering brought about cures for uh, recurrent diseases. Also uh, helped extend life and promote artificial intelligence. The world's first super cold hibernation device made by Dr. Baruga. It slowed the progress of rapid diseases and saved many lives. The day an airborne infectious virus of 90% mortality struck, named Asmodeus, the virus decimated the human populace. Some were saved by Dr. Baruga's vaccine, but lack of food spelled doom. Interesting. Lab's objective undertook research and development of groundbreaking biotechnology. Because of the highly hazardous work, robots are exclusively used. The vaccine for Asmodeus was, and they didn't do the space there anyway, uh, created here to stop the plague. The effectiveness was measured to over 80% recovery. But insufficient production meant that it was available only to a few. First floor is the robot assembly plant. Uh, basement floor one and basement floor two are the bio lab. Basement floor three and beyond are under construction. Huh. Interesting. So I unlocked a cold chamber thingamajiggy. So, uh, possibly I could just head back out to the, um, the elevator? Could be under construction. That doesn't necessarily mean anything, right? There might be something there. Ooh, that guy iframed the hell out of me. Jeez. Okay, can't jump there. Fine. I guess we'll check this first. Boop. Boop. Oh, more cubes. Holy crap. Hey, defense potion. Alright. Better than nothing, right? Okay. Wee. Alright, I think I'm gonna go back to the elevator, I'm pretty sure. So we gotta play a little bit more intelligent cube over here. I wonder how bad they hurt you. I've yet to be hit by it. Oh, you could actually attack them? Oh! I'm not gonna lie, I kind of thought they were just like, you know, those types of enemies or, you know, obstacles. That's fine. Well, that would have made things a lot easier, huh? 
And yes, we can go down again, so I'm assuming, since this is the last floor, we're probably gonna get a boss, because it's been a while. I mean, we did have that one boss on the last stream, but we haven't really had, like, an influx since Bloody Mary, really. I guess that... F was the fish after Bloody Mary? That weird fish boss? I think it was. Or was it before? It might have been before. I can't control this, by the way. Oh, okay. Intruder alert, attack mode on. Ah, shit. How the hell am I gonna attack this thing? I'm trying to get my, uh, I keep losing my dash. It's quite frustrating. I can't tell if it's just me fucking up or if it's the enemy itself. Orcs toasted just like I was when I got my tan. Uh, I didn't hit this leg. Okay, I see. Yep. Gotcha. Alright, let's heal. <clears throat> Sloppy boss fights, you know what I'm saying? Why was the password Bloody Mary? I have no idea, actually. Unless Dr. Baruga created Bloody Mary? I don't even know. Guess we'll find out, maybe. Holy mackerel. Is that it? Huh. Okay. Ooh, zombies? What the hell? The robot murder came uh, quicker than I thought. I'm not gonna lie, it was way more intimidating than it uh, ended up being. Unless there's some kind of surprise gimmick possibly coming up. I don't know. We shall see. But we're creating zombies here. Oh boy. Is that Barugs in his deep, cold slumber? I should probably heal, right? I can't forget that I have magic, too. I have no idea who you are, but I thank you for arousing me. Oh. I'm coming for you, boy. And I'm coming hard. I am Baruga. As you can see, I am a practitioner of science. When the world died, I took a, to a long sleep. Yes, until the resurrection of humans. I wish to show you something. Follow me. We're arousing Baruchs. Wasn't expecting that to happen tonight, guys. Here we go. Show me. I'm assuming it's probably going to show me some zombies. Right? Taking a left. Yes, indeed. Indeed, indeed. I created this life. Isn't it beautiful? With this system, people could live forever. Death is no longer fearful. Talk to the zombie in the nutrient bath. Which one? This one? This zombie. It's looking at me. Hey, this zombie looks incredibly sad. Is it really a happy thing to revive the dead? If people didn't die, the world would be filled up immediately. I have naturally taken that into account. The unnecessary shall die, and only the necessary lives. That's all. What? Whoa, you seem to be a bit hot-headed. But you better not get too close to me. Are you aware of the three laws of robots? In essence, robots must not harm people. Robots must protect people. If those conditions are met, a robot must protect itself. But the robots here have one more rule governing their behavior. Anyone deemed to be a threat to my person must be terminated now. Hmm. My liege shall soon reemerge from the underworld. Ooh, underworld, are we going back? My liege himself is, ah, oh, fuck. 
Let us witness the world on the verge of great progress. I hate when that happens. It happens in every RPG I play. <laughs> Out of nowhere, the cutscene takes over and you go from manually clicking to it just speeds up like crazy. Oh boy. Bad things are happening. Mark my fucking words. I'm coming for you. People be disappearing over here. Weird. I'm gonna be hanging from the bathroom! <laughs> Uh-oh. Is there gonna be another chapter? This usually like signifies like oh it's the old dude, the elder. Ark. You've done well to groom the world so far. Baruga will make this world fantastic. Your duty is finished, you shall rest eternally. Yo, he was bad? Dr. Baruga is doing some stuff there, Nick. Everybody everything's getting microwaved. Oh yeah, the hanging should always be connected to me, right? Other than Jersey Jerry himself. I'm still salty that the hanging emote got deleted off of Twitch. Saddest thing in the world. That's why I stopped streaming there. Did I get, tell you guys that story? I told some of you. I was watching... I can't remember who the streamer is right now. It's a famous Silent Hill streamer. And I know that dude likes wrestling, so I put the, the hanging emote. And he called... he commented on it as being a wrestling deep cut and then he said out loud I'm surprised that got through Twitch's like whatever I guarantee you somebody reported me from his chat gutless chat gutless anyway so I'm going to die <clears throat> I wonder what I fought for all this time was what I did shaping a world like Baruga wanted somebody tell me I don't want to die without knowing. Damn. It's getting really dark here. <laughs> well, honestly, I appreciate that it reminds people of me. That's right, Ark. You must not die at a place like this. By the way, Freak, I gotta catch up on a lot of your Final Fantasy stuff. But, like I said, I'm not off all week, so... Thursday, baby! I'll be catching up. You exist outside of the loop of fate, so you could change fate. This world needs you. I will transport your body to me now. Don't slip away. Yeah, I... Obviously somebody that was that guy's fan reported me because he basically caught... He didn't say to report my email. He said he was surprised that it made it through. And then somebody was like, Oh, I'm gonna report, ooh. Like, give me a break. It's just, it was a fake I'm segment. I'm coming for I'm coming you know, hard. the big boss man didn't actually die in the ring. Come on now. Oh, you've come too. Wait, don't try to move. Oh, we're back in Lhasa, right? That's what it sounds like. I arrived just as Lord Kumari came. I'm coming for you, boy. With you terribly injured. I'm coming hard. You may be aware of this, but the Star of Darkness has re-emerged. It erased a city from the world with no effort, Neo Tokyo. Ark, if you have the will, ask Lord Kumari the way. Show me the way. Before the Star of Darkness consumes us all. Nobody likes the Tattletail. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, what a great segment. Can you fucking... Thank you. Alright, first thing I want to do is save... Don't remember what building that was. Oh wait, hold on. I want to replenish my, my stock. Oops. Oops. Alright, we good. Yeah, I think the sewer noodle bar went down. <clears throat> but, you know, I mentioned it already, I'm not... I have a bunch of things that were on my list that I was never able to get to. I'm not gonna worry about it. It's all good. Definitely safe. 
All right, now we need to find Lord Kumari. My phone is blipping off, which seems to be my one group chat on Facebook. So something tells me that possibly the dolphins are struggling tonight. So I'm going to flip that thing over and hopefully my wife doesn't need me for an emergency because it is distracting. And I apologize for staring at it. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Where was Kumari? It's been a minute since I've been to Lhasa. Obviously, he wasn't up top. That was all that other crap. Was he just up in the main section here? Yeah, here he is. Ark, I'm glad you're safe. You met him, didn't you? The man they call Baruga. He introduced a star of darkness and bred disharmony. The balance of life was shattered, leaving man unaffected by death. But in Lhasa, there is an old saying. Star stones laid at the grave at time's end calls the golden child. Mayhaw journeyed far, seeking the truth behind the saying, but Mayhaw only managed to obtain fleeting glimpses of the truth. Human fate is a fixed loop. What one seeks is not always found. You are different. You exist outside of the loop of fate. Seek out the star stones and place them at the grave at time's end. There is no other way of realigning this disrupted loop of fate. The star stones? Do I have any of those? I do, right? Yeah, I do. I remember getting that a long time ago. Huh. Uh... Okay. That's kind of open-ended, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> kind of open-ended. Um, alright. I guess we'll go searching. Poor stall. Oh yeah, I forgot- Oh! Poor stall. I forgot there was a double header tonight. Totally forgot about that. So weird. Why do they do that? Why do they put two games on at the same time? In a prime time thing. That's so strange to me. Lamada. All right, so I am currently just wandering, I guess, right? I wonder if. Oh my god, I gotta go back through here again. I have to bring my notes back up. I didn't think I was gonna have to go here, man. Alright. What I was gonna say is, do I have my ship anymore? Uh, walk west until the boulders. Uh-huh. Turn south, serpentine dragon. Okay. And northwest, and this was the weird northwest where you can't go directly northwest, otherwise you get caught in the loop. But there's also been a few times where I get out of here not following the directions and I don't really understand how I did. That is not one of them, unfortunately. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I've grown to also enjoy the way the underworld looks. As like a weird scrolly thing. We haven't been there since, like, Thanksgiving. Uh, I hate the whole Northwest thing. It's like, go Northwest, and then I literally go Northwest, and then I end up, like, not anywhere where I need to be. And I don't know how many times I've actually... I think it was, like, twice I got through here without actually... Fuck me, dude. I guess I'll go more West next time. And what I was going to say is the one time I got out going northwest and I didn't even see the dragon skulls, which was strange. Okay, here we go again. Fucking god. Yeah, the underworld was the first stream, pretty much. First and second, the beginning of the second stream. I love how I can't get out of here now, by the way. I'm following the fucking directions and I'm not getting it in. This is the first time I've gotten denied like a million times in a row. Gotta love it. 
I'm trying to get over to the dock. You walk west, then you walk south, and then you go northwest. Shouldn't be this difficult. Okay. I didn't do it again, did I? Yo, this is fucking pissing me off, not gonna lie. <clears throat> I gotta get back on them boats. Speaking of the giants, right? The boat thing? <laughs> I can't remember what it was called. A few years ago when you guys were in the playoffs. Yo, what the hell is going on? So annoying, dude. What the fuck? Why am I getting, like, thrust out? Is there another, like, dock nearby? <laughs> so I don't have to go that way? Maybe? Hello? No. Shit. Uh, I might be SOL. Oh, there's a dock over there. Ah, crap. Wait, can I catch a flight, though? I think I can. I've gone northwest, too, though. I swear to God, you could look at the VODs and I end up getting spit out the wrong way. On other nights. It's annoying as shit. I've actually gotten out of there not even finding the dragon skulls half the time. Now, all of a sudden, I'm about to beat the fucking game and I'm having trouble getting out of there. It's actually really annoying. I think I've gotten denied like once previously. It's really inconsistent with the directions through the desert. Fly me somewhere. We actually did get a, uh, a plane, but uh, I pretty much lost it already, at least for now. I'm basically on a wild goose chase, it seems. I'm told to get star stones, but I haven't been told exactly where to go. I'm just trying to, like, get access to my ship again. I don't even remember where this takes me. Hopefully near a dock. Probably won't. Oh, uh, here, huh? Possibly, possibly not. Oh wait, that's a quick way through. I should probably just start randomly searching too, because I don't know where the hell these things are. Haven't even gotten to that point yet. <laughs> a merchant. Evergreen. Doubt it. Probably in the cities, right? Ooh, it's dock time.
So I do want to go back to Neo Tokyo. I'm going to assume one of them is there. Possibly. All right. But we'll go to Neo Tokyo first. Actually, this is the... Yeah, young cow. There might be something there too, though. But this was the one that was actually shown getting destroyed. Ugh. Jeez. Oh my god, the noodle bar! <laughs> uh boy. Oh well. What are you gonna do? It was the only one that wouldn't open before. I do not know how many of them there are now. If stuck, I honestly don't give two shits. I'm just gonna look to see where to go, because I don't want to fucking fart around for an hour and a half not getting any progress. It's not really entertaining to me with my limited stream times, but we'll look for a little while. Yeah, you can tell me how many there are, that's fine. I have one so far that I got a while ago. I don't even know if there's one here. I'm assuming there is. There are five, one on each continent. Is that not counting the one that I have already or counting the one that I have already? Oh. What? What is that sound? Sounds like it's coming from the desk in the corner. Looks like there's a transceiver in the drawer. Transceiver. Huh. Hey, no problem. Thank you for uh, for hanging out, Scra. Enjoy your. I don't know what time it is where you are. I can't remember. <laughs> Hopefully, night, day. I don't know. <clears throat> a girl's voice can be faintly heard. Help! Someone help! There's someone alive. There's a survivor here. Come help, Daddy, Mommy. Can you hear me? Where are you? Come help. That girl doesn't sound like she knows how to operate the unit. She's probably got the talk button pressed the whole time. Hey, release the button. Quiet. You hear that sound behind their, uh, her voice? Help! Isn't anybody there? Sounds like water. Yeah. There's no river in this town, so that means the sewers most likely. There has to be a way underground. So we got the sewer. I actually do not remember where I got that one. I feel like I probably got it on North America because I've spent the most time there, but I honestly don't remember. Can I crawl under the sewer? I don't have like a key. Oh, it's unlocked now. Okay. Would not have guessed. Sewer dungeon. <sighs> what a stench. This is overwhelming. The more fancy a town, the more dirty the b at the back. I have to breathe through my mouth to save my nose. Alright. Hey! Just realized there was a door up there. 
Yeah, I've actually seen that this area right here is like a good grind spot. Apparently you could like... Let's go right down and do that over and over. Yeah, and they drop a lot of gold. Store cash! Okay, that makes sense. Oh, is it the penguin that gave it to me? Oh, shit. Alright, give me my money back. Door is locked. Did that dude have a machine gun? Oh! Machine guns. Hey, we leveled up again. Life went up 32. God damn. Is leveling, like, random in this game? I'm sure there's some level of randomness to it, but that seems like a huge bump. Oh! Control. Someone help! Mommy, I'm scared! Shriek! What happened? Uh oh, the questions. Sewer key. Quick little dunge, I guess, huh? Not too bad. Although, who knows what's gonna be behind that door, of course. The ultimate wrestling finish move. Am I getting choices, or do I have to just, uh, name it? What's going on here? Someone help! A lion! A lion is chasing me! Someone... Please! A lion? I think... Let's fucking skip the dialogue. All right, HBK super kick. Oh yeah, super kick. Obviously, <laughs> Hogan's leg drop is terrible, and it also fucked up his back. Right? Hey, a lion! It's coming! Help! Calm down. Are you the only one alive? Help! Please, hurry, hurry! Wait, is that our boy? Tell me that is that our boy from back in the day? Possibly. Killing waters. Ooh, lifts and curse. On. Hey, a luck potion. I'll take it. You never know. Who doesn't like perma buff consumables? You know. Okay, relax. Jeez, Christ. Okay, went the wrong way. Yeah, so it'll be all the other consonants. I'll try to figure it out. Okay, that's where they went. I'll take a... a ga oh! King armor? Interesting. Plus 50, worn by a feudal lord. Wait, hold on, the thing I have right now, I'm gonna keep this on, only because uh, they had that curse item down here, so... I kinda wanna be in the clear to curses. Cause I don't know what the hell is gonna be lurking here. That should, I wonder if that's our boy from the beginning. Maybe I could talk to him? Please, don't eat me! Oh, 
Okay, come on then. Battlemaster Ark is your blind date. Huh? What's the matter with him? Ark, I got it! Don't you recall seeing this lion? Take a good low- uh, there we go. It's Liam. The cub that I helped on that test of his. That's right, it's been a long time. Aww. Alright, I can't understand animals anymore. When we were in that canyon, he was so small and cute. Aww, gotta love it. I hated that segment of the game, but that, that, that is pretty cute. You gotta love it. Alright, hold on. I'll update my notes with some shit here. Gotta keep uh, the review notes fresh, you know what I'm saying? Oops. Alright. Uh, no, I. Oh, God. So I got the new windows a little while ago, and I'm still not used to the way the notepad works now. I updated the, the wrong one. Alright, we back? We're back, okay. This lion suddenly got quiet when he saw you. I wonder what happened. This guy's called Liam, an old friend of mine. A lion friend? Wow, that's neat. I wonder if I could be a second human friend. Okay, what happened in Neo Tokyo? People suddenly vanished just like that. Daddy and mommy disappeared right in front of my eyes. I was all alone after that, and I was really lonesome. But this strange voice from this pendant would talk to me. It would cheer me up saying, light will shine if I live on. You've been very brave, it's hard being all alone. You're all alone too, I could tell. I know, I'll give you this pendant. It will give you courage. Hey, we got a star stone right there. Yeah, I kind of wish Steam was playing too. Would have been a little bit better, but... What are you gonna do? <clears throat> the voice came from the transceiver. Anyone read me? If anyone could hear me, answer me. I repeat, we are Freedom's research team. Does anyone hear me? I think they just did the wrong here. I mashed through so I didn't really see it, but... <clears throat> We're saved! We hear you! We're in a sewer pipe near the storage reservoir. There's a girl here and an animal friend. They need help. We read you. We're on our way. Help will come soon. Okay. I think I could be friends with this lion. Liam, I gotta keep moving. Can you protect this girl? Rawr. Well, that was kind of heartwarming. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I didn't go over here. Maybe there's a item. Eh, yeah, magic rock. You know, the stuff that we barely use in this game. The yush. Mega heartwarming. Oh wow, I literally walked by that one. Goodness. I could see, uh, I think I mentioned many streams ago about the retro achievements thing, like how you could like, you know, load it up onto your emulators and stuff. I think Terra Enigma would be a fun one, right? Because there's so much crap to do. That would almost feel like a, a modern game in a sense. All the magic. I mean, I can't lie, the magic uh, has come in handy here and there. Hasn't been completely useless. I just really haven't used it as much as I thought I would. Oops, shit. Alright, exit's over here. Alright, so we need... three more. Let's go back out to the overworld. I actually want to go save real quick. I'm not taking a break or anything, I'm just... I like to save, you know? Alright, so... I think that was like the only like truly destroyed place, so I'm just gonna go save... in one of the normal hub areas. Because why not? Why not? Just a bit of a, a long sail. So I'll probably hit up... Maybe Australia next. If I can, of course. I realize I could save pretty much anywhere, but I don't know. I always like sa saving over here for some reason. All 
I don't think... I never used a large bulb, did I? I don't think I did. No, we're good. I'm actually gonna also equip... my king armor. Hopefully, I don't get, um... Cursed now, of course. Hey, Rai, thank you for popping in. Uh, yeah, if you're free later, I'll definitely still be on. I'm pretty determined to try to beat this tonight. I'm willing to stretch it out to 1 a.m. if I have to. <laughs> I'd like to start fresh tomorrow with a new game and not do like a weird split stream, but we'll see. <clears throat> All right. Ugh. All right, let's head to Australia. I wonder if every segment is going to be a dungeon. Oh wait, can I fly still? Oh, never mind. There's only that one runway, so fuck that. All right, Australia. I'm gonna assume everything has like a dungeon attached to it, but we'll see. Nice. I'm glad to hear it. I mean, I do have it, so... Well, sort of. <laughs> Bought it for my kid for Christmas. She hasn't really been into her Switch much lately, though. It's been kind of weird. But that might be partially because uh, we didn't have Netflix for a little while, so maybe... Maybe she's back into the flicks. Uh, I've been here before, right? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I think Staltok, uh, who comes into the streams once in a while, is also playing, so it seems like Mario RPG is the word right now, right? Alright, so we got... We're in Australia. I'm gonna mark it off, because I'm not leaving here until we freaking find it, right? Probably not in the Sun Coast, I would assume. You know, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, you, you beat it already, right, Jimmy? I think. Oh, well, I've never been up here before. What the hell? Went up the wrong fight. That's <laughs> uh, beautiful, huh? Yeah, that's the way a remake should be, right? You don't change too much? Hey, I guess I haven't been here before. I'll take a life potion. Why not? Better late than never. Yeah, so is it a lot easier than the original game? I mean, that's one of my main <laughs> gripes with most Switch games, to be completely honest with you, is they're just too friggin' easy. I mean, yeah, obviously there are a few that are difficult, clearly, but most of them are just way too easy for me. Hard for me to stay, like, engaged, I guess. RPGs are always a different story, though. I can get sucked into that real easy. Holy crap, a hundred messages in my group chat. Good, good lord. Hey, David, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm hoping to finish tonight, but I, I realize there's a possibility that I won't, so... Thank you for, uh, watching, and hopefully you're enjoying all the vids and vods and all the good stuff. I am a scientist. This place is the least polluted when Earth is endangered like now. I intend to witness the world's end here. Would you listen to me? Sure. A certain race revered this grand view and was uh, in vast nature as God, but today, modern scientists, excuse me, societies, make a racket about preserving nature. When did humans become so big to think that they could protect gods? Perhaps the beginning of the end started there. I thought those things. I thought all the while I watched this beautiful world. 
I gradually became aware of a voice calling my name from somewhere. An older boy will appear bearing a rod. The voice said to give the boy my star- Oh! There we go. The voice seemed to emanate from the very earth. Take this stone, let's go! I've always had it with me since I was a child. Alright, cool, we got two. So, I gotta go to South America and Africa still, I guess. Wherever they may be, of course. So yeah, the group chat's probably popping off because of the dolphins. <laughs> yeah, I heard Dread was pretty difficult. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I don't um, particularly care for like super duper hard RPGs. I like, you know, one of my favorite RPGs is Final Fantasy IV, which is pretty easy. Chrono Trigger's really easy too, really. I mean, to a certain extent, they all are. <laughs> like, probably the hardest RPG that I've played lately was actually Arcana, believe it or not. And yes, I have not played Seventh Saga, so I know, you know, clearly. I'll, I will get reamed when I play there, but... Alright, so we need two more. Uh, so South America and South Africa. Or excuse me, Africa. So... Yeah, guess we'll uh, sail around and see what up. <laughs> yeah, the translation's not the best, I will say. It's okay. It's it's passable. Uh, I highly doubt it's in the caravan, right? I'm not even gonna bother, I'm gonna get out of here. This person must have collapsed. Oh, but I don't end that way. Oh! Ark, look at the skeleton's neck! It has something that looks like a necklace! No, no, the stone on the necklace! Don't you recognize it? Oh, hey! Isn't this the stone Liam found at the canyon? He said he was gonna treasure it forever, so why is it here? A human probably snuck into the lion's den. They'll go anywhere if they smell money. Oh, nice. Cool. That's quick. This is going a lot quicker than I thought, actually. Alright, so now we need to go to... South America somewhere. Cool. Alright. I think after I get the last star stone and turn it in, if there's a little spot where I could sort of stop it, I'll probably go to the bathroom real quick and grab myself a Coke Zero for the next steps. Alright, so somewhere in South America. So, we'll see. I don't have any fucking clue exactly where it would be here, but... Let's just land, I guess. Or dock, excuse me. Maybe in one of these random patches? Oh, let's stop over. <laughs> no, that was the cool little mouse minigame thing. <laughs> what was this cave? Oh, the portal. Wow. Totally forgot that that's the portal. Uh, it's probably not up here, but I guess it can't hurt to look. Oh, yeah, 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 this is the, yeah, yeah, okay. My bad. Alright, so where will you be, Final Star Stone? All around a river. Uh, did I just accidentally go into America? I just realized. I think I did. Kind of taking a peek. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold 
the phone here, people. Where is that? The West Coast of South America. West Coast, okay. <clears throat> Sanctua. Have I ever been in that cave? And this connects me to... Yeah, so I don't want to be here. I do want to be over there. And I think this is the last star stone, so that's good. here again? Brickliff. This is a dungeon though. So I do not want to go in there. At least I don't think I need to. And I can't go up there. I think wherever I need to go is supposed to be where I'm kind of walking. Oh, what's that over there? How the hell do I get there? Shit. I feel like it's probably that thing, right? How do I get there? Is there a dock on the outside that I'm... missing, possibly? I can go sail around and take a look. I mean, I could be wrong, but I feel like that is so isolated that that's probably it. Have I been here? Asta Rica. I think this is it, right? A strange voice whispered in Ark's head. Ark! Take the goblet placed on the altar. Ark, as if hypnotized, carried the goblet to his lips. Oh shit. Drinking. <clears throat> oh boy, <laughs> Ark's KO'd again. This is Asterica, the holy land that observes the growth of humans. Well, I think this is going to be it, so I can erase that. Ark, on awakening, you shall be witness to an odd vision. Oh boy. Hey, it's uh, our people. Peril? Freedom's Peril? I am Pella, a priest serving Lord Mela. Go hear what Lord Mela wishes to tell you. Maylin, is it you? What are you doing here? How dare you, I am Ma Maylia. Wait, did she just change her name three times? I swear to God it was spelled different over there. Anyway, a priest serving, oh no, okay, there we go. So it's a different person, wow. A little confusing when the names are exactly the same. Anyway, a priest serving Lord Mela. The holy ceremony is held yearly as Asterica's custom. As the six goblets on the altar, Night Dune uh, collects over a year. One of them is said to bring the drinker close to the gods. The chosen drinks one and spends a year without food or drink. Drinking the wrong goblet means death, but if the correct choice is made, a god is born from our tribe. From the last ritual, today is exactly one year. Two priests have gone to inspect but they have not returned. I would therefore like to ask a skilled warrior like you to go. Damn. All right. Jeez. Did not mean to click that, by the way. All right. No dialogue change. 
So do I have to drink? Uh, side exit? No. The fuck? Oh my god. Alright, didn't mean to do that. So there's no new dialogue, and I tried to interact with the goblets, and I tried to leave, and none of that seems to be working. Old school. Uh, do I have to push all these up? Possibly, huh? I'm assuming this is it. Seems like it would be, right? Uh-huh. Ooh. We got spideys. Okay, so I'm guessing it's armor. All right. Holy suit. Anti-confusion changes strength into luck? Huh. Oh, I hope that's just like... I sincerely hope there's not gonna be some weird, like, segment where I have to grind for like a specific item drop, you know what I'm trying to say? Oh, shit. Roy, unbelievable. You chose the correct goblet? Phyla. <laughs> so you were alive. I could see the scene a year ago. I took you as you wailed to the back of the altar, and you became totally alone. You endured that year of solitude and became superhuman. This year was long. It felt like centuries. I spent every day in fear that the candle of life will be snuffed. But I never died. When I became like this, I understood the true significance of God. Humans are pathetic creatures, driven by desires and living in misery. <laughs> A ritual this stupid is only for gaining power over other tribes. I have had enough of people. Oh boy. If they all disappeared, it will be peaceful. Hello, Melissa. How was your D&D &D session? Oh, shit. What are you doing? I'm going to make you a god. A god of death. Hell, stop. What is wrong with a life that never ends? Phyla, stop it. It's pointless to say anything now. It's not possible to understand. A 
But before I leave this world, I'll show you a human quality. An emotion called love that no other living thing has. I have it for Melissa! Roy. Phyla, I love you. When we're reborn, we'll be joined again. Well, I'll be. Did you come seeking an immortal body? Humans are all the same. For an instant, your face looked like a demon's. A person is said to have two faces. The external and internal selves. Maybe that sacred goblet's water just awakens the internal soul. Then why don't you try it yourself? The goblet behind you is filled to the brim. Chuckle. <laughs> or whatever. I hope, I hope I don't choose the wrong one and then have to like replay like 30 minutes. Haha. <laughs> the end of human life is trite. Aha, there's gonna be my last star stone. You just need like a massive hangover. Ooh, strange dream. There it is. I think that's it, right? I'm pretty sure. So now we have to place it at the hero's grave. So... I think... We would probably have to equip, right? And I should definitely save before I do anything. Um... Obviously. <laughs> Uh, was there a town town here? I think I think there was, right? Where I could rest at it in and save. Oops. Lioto. Here we are. Oh, I forgot this place is free. That's always good. Wrong side. So from my looking here, it looks like we're approaching the end end, guys. As soon as I place uh, these things, I'm pretty sure we're more or less in the final dungeons. Plural? So let's go get that done, and then I think I'll take my pee pee break. And we'll get ready to rock this shit. Alright, I think it's in... It would probably be down here, right? I'm assuming it's going to be one of the icy areas, but could be wrong. Hopefully we find it quick. I do have to pee. Uh, all right. Let's see. South Pole. Hmm. Um, I've been here before, right? Pretty sure I have. There wasn't, yeah, shit. How do I get to that other area, though? Wasn't sure if I was gonna take damage or fall through. So I learned that. How the hell? I think I need to get over there, right? Shit. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But I feel like that's where I'm supposed to go. How do I get through these rocks? Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I don't need to go here, but I feel like I do, right? I don't think I've been there. So I feel like that's probably where it would be. OK, 
Can I sneak past this one? No. Shit. Fuck. Huh. How the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Bear with me. It is what it is. I didn't think I could sneak through there. I didn't know there would be a place this to dry at the South Pole. Huh? These look like tombstones. Why at this extreme edge of the world? Okay. Ooh, we get... Big boy right here. Ark held the star stone aloft. Alright, where's the last skull? Alright! A voice echoed in Ark's head. It sounded exactly like Ark. You survived countless encounters with danger. However injured you were in fighting, you never did die. Do you know why? It is because you were the legendary hero. I represent the light side. And you represent the dark side. People are said to meet someone identical to them once in a lifetime. There are two arcs in the internal and external worlds. The reemergence of Baruga has disturbed Earth's balance. If Earth's history is likened to a clock, the hour hand points to 13. A time that cannot exist. No, a time that must not exist. Now close your eyes and think deeply about Earth. Okay. Oh boy, <laughs> Ark's passing out once again. Gotta love it. <sighs> Alright, when I have an opportunity to like kind of stop, that's when I'm gonna go pee and load up here for the final stretch. Oh, chapter four! Resurrection of the hero. Okay, final chapter, hype! Are we back in the underworld? Snivel. Snivel. Am I a baby? Oh dear, you're awake. I wonder how much time has passed since I began living with you. I was shocked when I found you crying in the field of Storkholm. You had so much resemblance to a person I know. So I ended up giving you the same name, Ark. You must be hungry. I'll go fetch some food. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Uh... Nah, I can't really stop now, though. It'd be a weird spot to stop, so... We'll continue on a little bit. Now L, kill him. Oh shit! Do not hesitate. That is why you were sent from Krista to the outside. Now that babe is powerless, hurry. Excuse me, now that babe is powerless. Okay, so I was a baby. I looked big though in the bed. <laughs> Pretty funny. Ark? Ark, what's the matter? Strange, a baby can't just walk away. Ark, Ark, where are you? Okay, so we're down in that area from the beginning. L, stop hesitating. Kill that babe now. Ark, forgive me. Pardon me, what are you doing? Who 
Who are you? You have my exact same face. Who are you? What are you doing to that baby? Well, well, quite an interesting guest. I'll dispose of this girl too. What? Yeah, seriously. This game has uh, been flipped upside down this part of the playthrough <laughs> in terms of like darkness and emotions and stuff. It's me, Kumari. I am reaching you? Or excuse me, am I reaching you? All the living things in the world await your awakening. It's a me! Now listen closely. I am Ra. Can you hear me? Ark? The earth is screaming. Like you saved me from poison. Please save this planet. I am Liam. Is my voice reaching you? The world has gone wrong. The animals have remained the same, but humans alone changed. Like you gave me courage, please give me courage, or excuse me, give courage to the world. I am Kingbird. The sky is crying, and the tears are filthy. If we could fly clear skies, we need nothing more. Have you heard all their voices? You can no longer converse with such living things, but they are with you. Ark. I will say this again. All the living things in the world await your awakening. I might have to do a uh, Terranigma lore dive when I get done playing. Obviously, I won't have time before tomorrow's stream, but maybe later this week. Oh, here we go. That music. Kill me now. Tisk, so he's awoken. Yo, Yomi's bad, though? I feel really betrayed right now. The representative of light and dark, spoken of as the hero, is here. I was ordered by the Elder of Krista. When Ark has resurrected Baruga, kill him. But I bided my time. I thought you would find the hero, Ark. I was right. When I kill you now, nothing can stop us. By the hand of the Elder, nay, Dark Gaia, the Earth will be reborn. Dark Gaia? That's right. Humans call him the Devil, I believe. Now El, kill him. At least Ark won't have the courage to kill his friend. Hey, snap out of it! What's the matter with you? I wanted to see you all this time. I never forgot about you, but I never knew we would meet again, like this. I was ordered to kill someone at the surface, endangering Krista. I had no idea that it would be you, Ark. Ack, you useless thing. Enough, I shall kill him. Yomi, what are you saying? We traveled for so long together. Ark, you still don't understand, do you? You were just used, Ark. You were just a piece in a game. I'm sorry, but goodbye forever. The Elder's word is absolute. Shit, man. Yomi set off an earthquake. Ark is immobilized. Now, how shall I do you? I'm coming for you, boy. Oh! I'm coming hard. <laughs> Stop. The way people have two sides, light and dark, need each other. Yomi, we must disappear. Let me go. I cannot disobey the Elder. Ark, please save the people of the surface world. The surface is so beautiful. People will treat this world carefully. 
L, what are you doing? Stop. Ark. I want it to be with you forever. Goodbye. Damn. Yeah, I want to write this in my notes. This part's been pretty cool, actually. Ah, oh, shit. Missed fucking dialogue again. Anyway. Uh, All right. Okay. All right. El did nothing wrong. Why did this happen? If I didn't open Pandora's box that day, would it have remained peaceful? I don't understand this external and internal thing. It doesn't matter, does it? It's good enough to live happily with the people precious to you. What happened to my carefree days in Krista? Somebody give me those days back! I can't just leave L like that, sorry. What should I do? After seeing that, I don't know what I should say to you, Ark. Don't worry. Talk to me the way you would normally. The other L may be gone. But won't I do? Can I ever replace L from the underworld? My feelings? What you just told me makes me really happy. But... I lived for a long time with L and Krista. I have many memories of us together in my heart. That L just sacrificed herself to save me. I'm sorry, but I can't think of another person right now. You're right. I'm sorry. Yes, I have something I have to tell you. This village had this old saying. One day a hero will visit. He will create a miracle and defeat the dark foe. And that hero was you. In this box are the arms of the hero. I think they were discovered by Columbus on his voyages. He hid them to ensure that they do not fall into the wrong hands. In other words, the villagers were the keepers of the mythical arms. They are why this village was destroyed and Columbus was tortured. The souls of the villagers have become wolves to protect the arms. Arms protected by the blood of many. Only you could try to use the mark. Cool. How <laughs> should I do you? It is a good one, right, Nick? <clears throat> I will say though, even though some of the di oh shit, some of the dialogue has been cringy. This this last part's been pretty good. I'm so tired of waiting. All my body has gone slack. Oh no! Oh, excuse me. Oh, no need to tell me. I know you're the true hero. Ark, this animal tried to kill you earlier. <laughs> don't be silly. That was Yomi from inside. This is the world's Yomi. Hey, we don't have time to chit chat. We have to take these hero arms and defeat Baruga. Even while we talk, a city somewhere could be dying. We got the hero Pike. Alright, cool. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> How should I do you, Yomi? I will await your return forever here. Sorry, hold on. When everything is done, please come back here. You got it. Hero Pike, once beheld by heroes. Powerful armor worn by heroes. All right, I think that is gonna be a good spot for me to take my PP break. And I am totally going to Taurus my way through this game no matter what tonight. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Um, all right. Is there still a save spot here? Cookie time, enjoy. Ark, please come back safely. There was never a save spot here. All right, before I leave the front door, I am going to take my pee break. I don't remember if it's here, but we'll stop here anyway. I'll be back in two to three minutes.
All right, we back. Hopefully my headphones don't die. Very possible if we continue to stream for about four hours. <laughs> I gotta clean my litter box down here too. It's stinky. All right, let's roll. Huh? This bird appears to have a letter in its beaks. Ark read the letter. Has this letter safely reached Ark? I am Mayhow. I write this en route to Siberia. Ark, are you aware Neo Tokyo was terminated instantly? It appears a virus weapon called Asmodeus was used. We cannot allow Baruga any more freedom. The world will end. Under Lord Kumari, several compatriots have gathered to stop Baruga. We formed a caravan to the lab tower in East Siberia. Uh, these are the members. Fida, the swordswoman. Royd. Royd Rage, the former mercenary. Peril, the skateboard wizard. And my granddaughter, Maylin. Ark, if you have read this letter, come to our help. Come to our help. <laughs> Let us meet at the lab tower in the east of Siberia. Mayhow. Okay. Alright, I would like to, like, save soon, to be honest with you. Can I? Eh. I highly doubt anything's open here. Alright, let's just keep rolling. Fuck it. Oh! God damn! That got me right away. Oh, that's right, I'm here! Yeah, I remember this place now. So I have to backtrack my way out of here? Wasn't expecting that. Do I have, like, an item that could, like... ...scoot me? I don't think so. I think I have to go all the way through, right? Yep, alright. Kind of a bummer. Hopefully we're <laughs> going the right way out of here. This was like the maze at some point, correct? Been a minute. There's so much gold now. Wasn't that the, uh, I think that was the dog whistle there, right? So that is not where I wanted to go. Oh, this is gonna be fun, huh? Having to remember how to get through an area that I struggled with the first time. <laughs> uh, just trying to get out of here. That's all I'm trying to do. There's definitely some kind of item that, like... Does get you out of places, and I never picked one up. Has to be. <sighs> Fucking hell. Man, I legit don't remember how to get out of here. Crap. Going backwards now.
Ooh, there's two paths there. Did I take the right one or the wrong one? Probably the wrong one. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, for the life of me, I don't remember how to get out of here. I went all the way back to Storkholm. Fuck me. <laughs> Alright, here we go again. Uh, we'll go north, I guess. I gotta keep track of how many different paths there are. I don't think there's an exit up there. Jump into the water! Alright, so bridge, and I don't think there was a way out up here. But I have to make sure that there's not. I could also probably use some extra experience, too, so... There's that. Alright, bridge, and then there was this weird fucking thing in the middle here. Okay. I mean, I feel like I was going the right way at some point, and then I made a wrong turn. Do I go north? Don't know. I try to remember the bridge as my... turning point. So I have a couple exits here. <clears throat> well, we are on a on a mission. Hopefully not to a dead end. Okay, this is vaguely familiar. Oh, I think I made it. This is it, right? Ah, uh, shit. Nope. <laughs> oh, well. Hey, no problem, Nick. Have a good night. I appreciate you hanging out. Yeah, I just... Like I said, I really want to beat the game tonight, so... There will probably literally be nobody here by the time I beat it, and that's fine. Did... What? Hold on. No, that's the... Okay, that's the right bridge. Now we're back in the maze, I think. Pretty sure we are. And I just want to get the hell out of here. This looks familiar. This is the beginning. I should be out. Yes. Alright, cool. Alright, we need to get to Siberia. So I have to find a dock. Should be one right over here, right? Ooh, let me rest at the inn and save here. I don't want to make any kind of mistakes. Ark is a trooper. Oh, yo! I think the town must have grown again. This place is fucking ginormous now. Wait, what? Hold on. It said to use the room to the right. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Shit. Yeah, this place grew again, huh? Cool. <clears throat> Alright, let's save and head off to Siberia.
<laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I have to go out this way. Oops. since I've been over to this area, actually. Okay. I'm assuming... Can I dock somewhere, please? Uh, that's Neo Tokyo, right? So, Siberia. Where was the dock? Be damned. Oh, wait a minute. I need to fly there, I think, right? I believe. Could be wrong. that. <laughs> Let's give it a go! I'm assuming we're probably heading back to uh, that mosque area, right? My stomach is making tons of noises tonight, by the way. Like, are we heading back to the same place? Like, am I going back to the tower? Or am I going somewhere else? Probably a different place. Aha. Uh -huh. Siberia, so it's probably the... Yeah. Okay. There we go. Hee hee, this is exciting. Makes me feel like a hero. Huh, easy for you to say. Ah, so he finally arrived. This is Baruga's lab tower at its apex. He is doing abominable work. You get this feeling that Baruga is controlled by someone. He claimed he is resurrecting the world with someone underground. I don't know who that someone is, but we must stop the atrocities. Lord Gumari has said that only Ark could save the world. Let's go. Let's do everything we can to help. Now, Peril. Enter from a different door. Ark, I must entrust you with Malin's care. Okay, I was going to talk to my boy there, but... Oh, here we go. My skateboard's finally going uh, to come in handy. Ark, don't you slow me down now. Uh, final dungeon hype? Question mark? Ark, if you ever try to ditch me, you'll regret it. 
There is a surveillance camera ahead. Leave it to me. I gotta say, it's minor, but these, like, super long pauses in Terranigma are actually really fucking annoying. <laughs> Okay, Ark, it's safe to come out now. Disc. I'm not only- or I'm not a child, you know? Excuse me. I don't think we were noticed by that camera. Hee <laughs> hee, see my ability comes in handy. Now let's go. If we fall behind, the others could be in danger. Whoa, watch out! There's a robot! I'll create a mirage to camouflage you. You go ahead. Did that surprise you? That crane was operated by Royd. I should have guessed from the rough handling. <laughs> I had no idea being a hero involved this much pain. Ah, uh, quit your griping. Let's keep it upbeat. Okay, so this is, uh, progressing weirdly. I think there's a machine that fires laser beams ahead. Mayhow has the ability to see just a little into the future. He foresaged that we would be shot by these lasers. So here's where my skateboard comes in handy. Just hang tight, I'm gonna shut the firing device down. Okay. So you say. All clear, let's boogie. Heh, <laughs> what do you think of that? I'll follow you with Mei Lin. Ark, you go on ahead. It's my favorite cubes. <clears throat> Long time, Ark. You've kept busy. Two levers must be operated at the same time to open the shutters ahead. Ark, you work that lever. Ready, Fida? Let's go, now! It's open. I'll meet up with you later. <sighs> Alright. Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh, we have a couple of different paths here. I was not expecting, actually. <laughs> oh, hey! Another Magi Rock that I won't use. <clears throat> actually, how close am I to my next level? Like, should I start really killing things? I probably should, right? I have no idea what the recommended level is for the end of the game, but I'm sure I'm probably lower than recommended, I would guess, because I really haven't been killing things lately. There we go. Life up 39. Love to see it. Probably a lot of you aren't here at this point. We're approaching 11. Um, but anybody that is here or has joined or watching, you know, on the VOD, thank you so much. I appreciate it and hopefully you've been enjoying the stream. I never expected I'd be helping you like this. Well, so be it. I'll blast through the shutters with this cannon. Cover your ears, fire! Boom. Ark does not support AI. 
Mark my fucking words. That's what Ark's saying, right? Now go. So I'm probably really far away from another level, right? I'll kill everything in my path, I guess, but... Highly doubt we hit another level unless I go out of my way to grind. Unfortunately. Ah, I see it. Ruga is trying to escape on an airship. But the corridors of the airship have already been sealed. We must open the shutters ahead. Baruga will get away. Life potion. Let's go. So it's funny. I actually did a little bit of reading, but I didn't read, like, specifics and spoilers and stuff like that. I had read that the prevailing thought is that the end of the game was, quote, like, half-baked. So far, I don't think that's the case. I've actually been enjoying the end of the game. People made it sound like the story took a nosedive, and I'm like, I don't fucking see that at all, personally, but... We have to press these four switches at the same time. Ark, hurry up and go to your room. Sorry. There are four switch control rooms and three are- yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry to your room. Gotcha. This must be it for the switch- for the shutters. <laughs> Mayho dropped the U out of nowhere. Mayho. Ark, are you hearing me? When I shout, everyone push their switch at the same time. Ready? Now! Okay. This is a machine called computer. <laughs> Sorry, that's funny. This is a machine called computer. Put simply, it's the brain of the ship. There are seven brains on the ship. One or two brains out isn't a problem. But if all seven were knocked out, the ship would have to go down. Ark, here are some time bombs. Attach one to every computer. Okay, let's split up and search. Good luck. All right, we got time bombs, eh? We'll be damned. Leaping onto an airship, lifting off, takes some guts. That kind of risk-taking is great. I like your style. We're coming up to the grand finale. Literally. All right, so I have to equip time bombs, I'm guessing? Okay. So this is a computer. All right, we got a time bomb there. Six more to go. We got machine guns coming at us. This uh, gyrating of the stage here is a little... Disconcerting. Dead end, eh? I guess I'll try to rack up another level if I can, of course. We thought we cornered Baruga, but he escaped at the last instant. Doesn't matter when we set these bombs, he's done. We destroyed the escape pods and rocket bells, except for ours. Ours, excuse me. Baruga should have no way out. Ark, when you finish setting the bombs, come to the ship's rear. Good night, Jimmy. Thanks for hanging out tonight. All right. So that is... Three, right? We have four left, I guess. Yeah, four left. All good. 
possibly have to backtrack. Looking like that's the case, totally fine. Honestly, have no clue where they'll be, but we'll just keep moving. The worst that could happen. Is this just the main room that I was in before? I think it is, right? Pretty sure it is. Yep, it is. Okay. That was kind of a loop-de-loop. Sort of expected, to be honest with you. And I went in there already as well. So... Probably... Ah, that's the rear of the ship, huh? Alright, so I have to set two more bombs somewhere that I missed. And then I probably go there. Oops, I did not mean to press that button. Mm. Just gotta figure out where didn't I go? It's bound to happen sooner or later. I've just been running through recklessly. I just sincerely hope that you could save before the final boss, because I'm assuming the boss is hard. And I would not want to do all this crap again. That's where I set my first one. Shit. Okay. Alright. Start from scratch. Murder, cheese, salad, and squid. What's up, Rybolt? Welcome back. I think we're in the... I think we're in the last dungeon now. I have to set some time bombs up. Two remain. I'm missing a door or a passageway somewhere. We have to figure out where that is. But getting some extra leveling along the way would not be the worst thing, right? Okay, so I've gone over here before- oh, hey. You. Ark, set a bomb here too. Say, Ark, when this is all over, what do you plan to do first? I don't know yet. All this constant fighting just surviving day to day is enough. I see, not much left to go now. Keep it together. Alright, so we have one bomb left. I was actually expecting another room of two bombs. Right, I do have one bomb left? Yeah. Okay, shit. So we have to find one more thing to set. Hmm. Where will you be? Hey, we leveled up. I love to see it. So I think I know where the rear of the ship is, where I'm supposed to meet after I set them. Pretty sure I don't actually set the bomb there. Because it has to pretty much explicitly be a computer. I'm worried that I missed something like way back <laughs> somewhere. So this, yeah, that's the rear of the ship. So we need one more bomb to place. One more computer terminal. Where the hell would you be? I 
that in. Hmm. Highly doubt it's back that way. I feel like it has to be over here somewhere. Oh man. It's tough when uh, more or less the entire area looks exactly the same. Oh boy. All right, so that's the rear. I already went over there. And this is the, these are the double rooms, I believe, right? Cause now there's gonna be the big boys up here. So I've been over here too. Shit, where the hell is the last fucking thing, dude? I already saw you guys. Oh my god, it was right here. Did I walk by this before? I think I did. <laughs> Alright. I'm pretty sure I actually walked by that area and killed those enemies and didn't notice that they were guarding a computer. Alright, so let's see now if indeed that was the rear. It looked like it would be the rear of the ship. Considering it's like south and it was some sort of weird end. Here we go. Ark, did you set all your bombs? A-okay. Alright, I'm flipping the switch. Oh boy. Yeah, guys, I think we're about to... about to hit the end-end. If the final boss doesn't give me too much trouble, hopefully I can wrap up before midnight, so that'd be cool. But I have heard that the final boss is difficult, so... Okay, all we have to do now is escape. <laughs> foolish, too foolish! That was Baruga, it's from the rear deck. For the likes of you, I must admit you have done remarkably well. But I wish you wouldn't forget I am a scientist. You appear to believe my escape routes have been cut off. You were trapped by conventions. Take my shoes, for example. They have jet nozzles on the soles to keep me airborne. Conventional uh, thought can't make inventions or cause progress. <clears throat> Before I bid you farewell forever, let me tell you something amusing. Your stolen rocket belts? They are controlled by computer. Now that the airship's computers are dead, I think they won't work. So it was you who ends up cornered. Very soon now, me and my liege's world will dawn. A world of eternal life is about to be born. Damn. What? Alright. Okay. I think he said something about Dark Gaia, but I didn't get to see it. <laughs> <clears throat> So Baruga gets killed by a machine he made. The greatest genius in history ends like that, such is life. The ship will soon lose its balance and begin to descent. It's descent. Ark, looks like I brought you on a death trip. <laughs> you gotta have all the explanations. What's up, Nasty? <clears throat> no, maybe not. Oh, hey! Look, a goal. Maybe they've come to meet us. No, it can't be that simple. We're flying at an altitude of around 10,000 meters. It must be torture for them to fly at this height. Seeing as this one's alone, maybe the other gulls couldn't make it? Damn. Okay, yeah, I thought I saw it. It was really quick. <clears throat> hey, Ark, you get on this gull. There's no need to endanger all three of us. Royd is right. We will do what we can here. People have been known to survive airplane crashes. Humans are made resilient. And they think they've already won. Uh, I don't really know. Sure? Sure, buddy? Air oh, we're back here? Huh. What? Interesting. Ah, oh, boy. So I do have a mini spoiler. I, I know that I believe um, that there's not a boss rush like Illusion of Gaia. So I probably only have to focus on like two or three bosses or phases. But I have not seen them before and I heard they're difficult, so fingers crossed. The light of the apocalypse. The world's final day is upon us. Can I save? Because like... 
That light fell in the direction of South America. Maybe a missile, perhaps a meteor. Either way, it must be the end. South America, eh? Okay. Maybe I could manually... Aha. Okay. Can I save here, please? Oh, the Sun Coast. What a place. What a place to save, right? Alright. Well, I think this is it. Ladies and gents. Okay. So let's save and try to find our way to the final path. And we'll keep our fingers crossed that we don't die a bunch, because we'll probably have to sit through a bunch of dialogue. <laughs> Reminded me of when I played that, uh, that Final Fantasy IV hack that was way harder than the uh, American version, and I died a lot at uh, Zeromus. I had to sit through the fucking cutscenes over and over and over. <clears throat> Alright, so they said somewhere in South America, right? So let's roll. I wonder if something's drastically altered on the... On the area, possibly. This was to there. Highly doubt that's the case, right? So I'll go to the other side. But, uh... Yeah, hopefully some of you that have tuned back in are ready for the finale. I had faith in myself that I'll beat it tonight, so unless I struggle mightily at the boss, which is very possible, we should be good. Um, okay. We bit confused. I'm not necessarily seeing anything that appears to be drastically altered about South America. Oh, my bad. The fucking portal. Eh. I completely forgot about the portal. Where that exactly was, can't remember, so we'll wander around a bit. I think it was up there, right? I'm assuming we're heading back down to the underworld. Oh, there's the portal, right? There we go. Let's go! No, that's not the portal, that's Evergreen, <laughs> fuck. Eh, that's funny. And that's not the portal either. God damn it. And neither is that. Well, shite. Where was the portal? Can I remember? Here it is. Cave entrance A. Oh, there we go. A very convenient save spot. Yeah, it's funny, I actually was talking about Star Tropics earlier today. Uh, because one of the final dungeons was like a, uh, a laboratory thing, and I vaguely remember one of the final areas of Star Tropics was... Like, futuristic. It's been a long time, Mark. I never forgot for a second how you saved me at Sylvain Castle. I traveled around the globe since then, and I saw as much as I could. The world has truly changed. Airplanes, computers, my navigation techniques appear primitive now. I heard of you while on my travels. I became convinced that you were the legendary hero. It is prophesied that the hero will disappear underground. Are you going? Not yet. Essential for survival. Alright, I'm gonna save one more time just because I exhausted the dialogue. Final level was a spaceship. Close enough, right? Of course. I had to finish cleaning up what I caused. I see, I won't try to stop you. But you may never be able to come back from the surface of the world. Maybe you should record your journey first. That is all I will say to you. Alright, let's go. Let's go. This is it, people. Alright, let's get our... I don't know what kind of attacks will be good here. I wonder how much time has passed since I left. I don't feel I've changed at all from my journey. Oh, shit! Man, it's been so long since we've been here, huh? Alright, I'm gonna assume we go back and probably talk to the Elder. Maybe we even go downstairs. 
Everything's still popping here. <sighs> Ark, you've done well to return. I must give you credit for resurrecting the world so far. But you appear to have learned more than you should have. There's something I wish to show you. Follow me. Okay. Just checking up on my cats. One of them was uh, messing around over there. I didn't really see where you went. I'm assuming you're in the basement. <laughs> He's not. Okay. Oh. I mean, to be fair, it was a good guess. Oh boy! The Elder needs to calm down. There we go. Ark, look at the sky. The flowing crystal blue, it's beautiful, no? Your body? No, all humans here are replicas made of the same material. When used up, the replicas regain their form and float like so. Earth is cycled through growth and decline. Two opposing wills. Light created life and dark destroyed what was unnecessary. And the will of dark now tolls your end. Ark, your duty is now finished. Now let us make our way to the Gaia Stone. Lots of very real wrist watches. So the one thing that I'm concerned about, I'm not really concerned about it, but if we die, it is kind of annoying that I have to go through some dialogue. But I guess it's to be expected. Alright, what do we want equipped? Let me think. I don't even know. I guess I'll have this equipped. Oh, no, 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 I want this equipped. I have all this magic that I haven't used. I don't know if it's going to do anything against the final bosses, but we'll see. Looking creepy. This is the Gaia Stone. You are inside the sun in, uh, in the underworld. Excuse me. This is Infinite Corridor. This Infinite Corridor is the history of living things. Creation is the making of form. Destruction is the dissolution of form. This planet's life had been promised an unfortunate fate at its start. Soon light and shadow shall become one. There is no shadow without light, and no light without shadow. Uh, for Earth's new beginning, I shall fight like you with real form. <laughs> oh yeah, this is going to be mad annoying by the way if I die. Holy shit, having to go through all this crap over again. Let's get lucky! Holy hell, what are we doing here? This guy's intimidating. Sonic Boom! Fucking Guile? Sonic Boom. Okay. Guy's Rage. Oh, God damn, dude. Chill. Dark Guile launched an orb of light. I block these? Sonic Boom! Nope! <laughs> oh! Uh... Am I allowed to attack him? I'm kind of confused, actually. What the hell? What do I do here? <laughs> Is this like a big long like waited out scenario or something? I can't tell if I'm supposed to use magic on him or what? Magic can't be used here. 
okay, we use magic on the final boss. <sighs> oh, wait, what? Hold on. I bumped that ball back at him. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> I thought maybe I could, um... Reflect it. I guess I have to hit it on him. Well, now I know. Did that work? Do I just somehow keep literally missing? Maybe a regular hit. So I've done a dash hit and a regular hit, and it splits. So do I go to the side, maybe? I'm better off dashing there, by the way. It's kind of hard to time. All right. Fuck! Did that hit him? I am fucking confused. Am I doing anything to him? What the fuck is... Oh god, I hate this bullshit. <sighs> I'm obviously supposed to hit that back at him, but is it doing damage? Like, I'm not getting any kind of hit confirmation or anything. I feel like I'm not doing any damage at all. And I've tried to hit it from the center, hit it from the side, I've hit it regular, I've hit it with dashing. I am doing it right? Alright, it just it seems like nothing's happening. Is this? Oh shit, was I supposed to attack that? I probably was. Oh man, gimmick bosses, am I right? First time you play and you don't know what to do, it's good stuff. Maybe not? Eh, maybe not. That just hurt me. I need to hit the spike orb. He seems to have iframes though, half the time he's fucking coming down here. He's blinking. Oh my fucking god. I'm not gonna lie, this phase is, is stupid. I'm sorry. The fucking boss for Soul Blazer and Illusion of Gaia, like, makes sense. This one's, like, dumb as fuck.
Hey, now he's not doing it. You done? Oh my god. Why isn't he doing the ball light? Jesus Christ. I don't understand how I'm supposed to hit this thing when it's blinking, it doesn't seem to take any damage at all. And when it's not blinking, it's so far off the screen that I can't do anything. So this doesn't, this fight doesn't even make sense to me. And I know I sound like fucking whiny, but this fight's like stupid as shit. Uh, I hope the last phase like makes sense. <laughs> Like, how am I supposed to hit him? Oh my god. When he lands for like one second? Oh my goodness. Oh wow, I finally hit it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> that was a stupid phase. That was not fun. And now I'm probably gonna get demolished by whatever the hell this is. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. I'm glad that shit's over. I'm hopeful that this phase at least, like, makes sense. It's probably gonna be hard, obviously, but... Oh, it almost looks like... I mean, it doesn't look like, but it feels like the Mana Beast, almost, from Secret of Mana. Oh, shit! Dodge that! God damn! That's not cool. Out of heels, too, basically. We're gonna have to do this again, I'm sure. What the fuck? Block, dude! Jesus! I'm guessing you blocked there. I was pressing it, but it wasn't working. Probably too late. Shit. I'm in the underworld, right? But won't that be like dinky?
Toasted! No! Shit, I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna hold off. Jump! Ah, fuck. Ah, uh, okay. Alright. So I'm better off going to the edge there, obviously. Oh shit. Fuck me, dude! Spamming this. I didn't have a chance. <laughs> he just did it right away. All right. Uh, okay. So, correct me if I'm wrong, he wasn't even in the range for me to attack at all between his last fucking bullshit. Right? Am I tripping? I don't think there was any way I could have even hit him on that last cycle. There we go, finally. Fucker. Yeah, I mean, it certainly appears that way. I'm not gonna lie, guys, this fucking fight's stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. At least, like, the last boss of Soul Blazer and Illusion of Gaia, like, it makes sense. You know what I mean? They weren't necessarily hard or anything, but they made sense. This is just, it seems like an RNG fest. It's just kind of frustrating. That was lame. I didn't like that fight at all. He looks cool. Don't get me wrong, the sprite work there is awesome on both forms. But this, like... Damn. I don't know. Alright, well, I guess we beat it, I think. I don't know. <laughs> if it was the same voice heard at the time... Or excuse me, at the hero's grave. Getting late, bear with me. It is finally over. Dark Eye's powers are sealed. Who is that? Who are you? Me? I'm your original in the light side. Dark Gaia created you to rule the planet as his own. He made you by copying me when he first sealed. He was first sealed. Jesus Christ, I can't read. No, not just you. The village of Krista, too. Above ground, you saw a village identical to it. The world runs on a balance of light and dark. You came to realize that. The 
The darkness has passed. Our work is done. Let us return to our respective worlds. Good old Willy. That reminds me, I know there's like a hack for Illusion of Gaia where you, um... It like, resurrects the final final form of Dark Gaia. Because I guess there was supposed to be three, I think? And it got cut, but it's like still in the code. Apparently it's really hard though. So this is my hometown. Even if I have a grand home with no one to share, it's meaningless. Come to think, Elle outside lost her village, too. I'd be curious to try that someday, Rybolt. Lost her fellow villagers, and her parents were killed. And that's why she said she lost her ability to speak. I could feel the pain that she went through. I had no idea that having no place to go home to is so empty and lonely. What's the matter? You seem down. Yeah. I wonder what I've been fighting for. I was told by the Elder to resurrect the world, so... I went above ground. Yes, the world was resurrected, and civilization developed. But that was all the Elder, Dark Eye's plan. I can't help but feel I brought bad luck upon this planet. Hmm. I didn't think Ark had that kind of sense of duty. But you did fulfill your duty of creating heaven and earth. So you're what humans would call a god. Where there's a world with living things and bad things always happen. But on the other side of bad, there's an equal number of good. Anyway, Ark, I enjoyed our traveling uh, with you. Yomi? You're actually a good guy? What? You just found out now? Yomi, let me ask you something. You came along with me on my entire journey. You even stood by and helped me on my final battle. I never asked you this, but what exactly are you? Oh, is that all? Ark, up to now you've met countless living things, right? Birds, four-legged animals, even mermaids with flipper tails. All living things evolved the way they are now from one creature. Before evolution started, they all looked like me. Humans evolved to stand on two feet, so they could use tools. Now they're relying more and more on machines. Maybe humans will evolve to my style again. <laughs> so Yomi might be our future. Okay, later, Ark. <laughs> I gotta get going. Damn, dude just dips out right away. What? Where are you going, Yomi? Back to sleep. I'll be back when someone strays from the flock, like Ark. Later. Farewell, brother. So, like, is he named Ark for some, like, Noah's Ark sort of reason? I'm just speculating because of all the animals and various things that you save. I don't know. Can you hear me? I am Light Gaia, the soul of the surface world. But Dark Gaia's defeat... Oh no. Yeah, I don't really- I gotta do a deep dive into the lore here. Well, I am, uh, interested in general about everything. Krista and the other world will disappear. The surface world will gradually return to normal. You're the hero appears when the earth is in danger. And you flow both blood of light Gaia and dark Gaia. Your duty is now finished. Your body will soon disappear. Just today, go enjoy your final happy time in Krista in peace. Wow, I can't believe we're done. I actually finished it tonight within uh, around the time frame I thought, about three hours. Ark? Ark? What's the matter? You were tuned right out. Huh? Sorry, I was just thinking. Hey Ark, I think happiness is just being able to loaf without stress. I completely agree. <laughs> Loafing without stress is like my life's goal. Hello, Ark. You're looking uncommonly serious. Well, if you're quiet, there's one less worry for me. Alright, we got the weavers.
The fortune teller was saying this pool reflects the future, but the pool shows nothing at all. It doesn't even reflect me. Thank you, Nasty. Alright, so I'm assuming probably to end the game we go back to, uh... The main... Wait, I don't want to be here. I want to be back in the Elders thing, right? Because I was supposed to see... Yeah. I have to get something to eat after this. It sucks because it's so late, but I'm starving. Everything started from this room. I wonder if the Elder planned everything when he sent me up. I resurrected civilization and Baruka. And died Earth in darkness. I should have been killed by machines when Baruga was awakened. But I didn't die. I was resurrected by Kumari and all living things. I met the other me and I realized my destiny. Worth a shot. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. York, I'll wake you up. Ooh, the hot cup. Wait, so it's just repeating the same shit? Do I just go back to sleep? Okay. <clears throat> Ark, do you hear me? I have something important to, t uh, to say. I tried to kill you as a baby in Stockholm. In Krista, the Elder's word was absolute. But seeing you grown up, I understand now. We are all individuals. It's important to live naturally. Crystal will be gone soon. But if we are bound by fate, we will meet again. In time. Somewhere. Ark. Until then, goodbye for just a little while. Ark fell into a deep sleep. <clears throat> and Ark dreamt his last dream. It was a dream of becoming a bird and seeing the world grown older. Are we going to get like a flyover here of the entire world before the credits? Possibly. Uh-huh. I'm assuming the credits are gonna roll. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Alright. Well, obviously I'm gonna let this roll until the end. This is typically where I give my off-the-cuff thoughts on the game before my review. Um... So, for me personally... I definitely would put this last in the trilogy for me. I do think it was a good game. I don't think it's bad or anything. I'm not going to give it a bad rating. There's certainly some things that I didn't do. I didn't max out the civilizations. There's a few magi rocks I missed. There was a secret down in the underworld at the beginning that I missed. So on and so forth. So I know that there was more to be found. More to be had. And it was a very ambitious game. Um, I felt like the story was okay. That was good. Some of the dialogue in the translation was a little shitty. But I mean... A lot of the games of this era had shitty translations. That's why fan translations exist. <laughs> um, I thought the final boss was terrible, which sucked because I actually kind of liked the ending. I didn't even mind like the you know placing the bombs. Like I kind of felt like the ending was good. The story was starting to get more interesting. Some of the areas were pretty cool. Um, 
But yeah, the final boss was whack. It's really stupid. And it's a shame, because the sprite work was great on both of them. I really, really liked the designs of them, but... Uh, I didn't find the game to be too difficult. I do agree with the consensus of the interwebs that the, the hardest boss is obviously, um... Whatchamacallit, Bloody Mary. Did pretty well against her, though. Yeah, I think there's a lot of cool things about it and stuff. I don't know, I just... I still feel like Illusion of Guy is the better game. I don't know. I think technically this is superior in many ways. But... In general, I just liked the formula of Illusion of Gaia more. Soul Blazers, also, I enjoy it more, but I could fully admit that Terra Enigma, like, craps all over it in terms of, like... You know, it's 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 the better game, obviously. But Soul Blazer has, like, a, a charm to it, and it's really easy to pick up and play. So yeah, I don't know. Personally, I, I would have this probably last in the trilogy. I don't think anything's gonna kind of change when I sleep on it before I write my review. I do like to sleep on things a little bit and do a little bit more reading before I really finalize my thoughts. But, yeah, no, it's a very good game. I'm glad I beat it, finally. Um, I think people that think this is up there with the true elites of the system are... I, I don't know. I think you're wrong, but uh, that's opinions, I guess. Um, like, for example, Lufia 2 is way better than this. Final Fantasy 6 is way better than this, in my opinion. But, it's fun. Good game. I'll play it again at some point. I'm interested to see what kind of, like, uh, improvement hacks and patches and stuff there are. But, yeah. I would go Illusion of Gaia, Soul Blazer, Terra Enigma. I was slightly let down here. Because I heard nothing but, like, amazing things about this game. I was, I was literally expecting to have another Final Fantasy VI, like, Chrono Trigger revelation. But, I don't know. Yeah, there's definitely still a lot I could do in my next playthrough. I don't think that's going to change my opinion of the game at all, though, to be honest with you. Building the towns more and finding some more secrets and stuff, I, I highly doubt that makes me enjoy it more than the other games. I think Illusion of Gaia had the perfect formula, and I felt like the story was way more touching in Illusion of Gaia. I, like, legitimately almost cried, like, multiple times in Illusion of Gaia. This game never once almost made me cry. But that's... Varies from person to person, so Good game though Quintet slash Enix did a lot of uh, great things back in the day This is pretty But all in all I'm glad that I got it done regardless I'm trying to think what my favorite dungeon of the game was at this point. I don't even remember. Look through the walkthrough. You know, I actually really did like, uh... Sylvain Castle was actually probably my favorite part of the game, actually, in retrospect. I actually really liked the design of that place. I thought it was unique, the way you progressed through it, and obviously the boss was very challenging. And I think possibly on a casual playthrough, I would enjoy, um... Loran more. Streaming, it was a bit of a pain, because I kept missing fucking items, and I had to keep going back. But yeah, Sylvain Castle, I think, was like the height of the dungeon design for me. And like I said, I did really enjoy the end of the game. I felt like from Baruga's lab onward, it was very intriguing. But the last boss was so bad. What a, like, horrible design. It's terrible. <clears throat> what do we got going on here? Can't control anything. Coming! I'm not gonna press the Brock Lesnar button, don't worry. Who could it be at this time? It's almost midnight. Did somebody leave Baby Ark on the doorstep? <laughs> Who is it? Hmm. 
the end. Okay. So I think that's that, right? Alright guys, well, I'm not gonna bother going to the end screen of the stream here, it's pretty self-explanatory. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed my playthrough. If you're still here or watching on the VOD and you made it this far, please make sure to like the video, it does help my channel. Um, I need to work on my review and my unboxing within the next, or probably later this week I would say would be when I get started on that. But. Uh, if you are interested, I do have off of work tomorrow, so I will be streaming for probably four or five hours tomorrow during the day, so if you have a job where you're able to fuck around and watch YouTube on a side monitor or something, don't know what I'm playing yet, I will think of that in the next nine to ten hours, and we'll figure it out on the fly. But, uh, thank you guys, appreciate it, and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. If not, I'll catch you in the VODs or the comments or whatever, so take care.